Windows 10 seems to intimidate a lot of people, understandably so, because it's not really that easy of an operating system to use. But with a few key tips under your belt, you'll find out that Windows 10 really is an enjoyable operating system. Not only that, but it will be a lot easier and more enjoyable for you. Hi, this is Steve, trying to make your life with computers easier. So come along with me, and on this episode, let's investigate those 10 tips. Tip number one, Windows 10 emojis. To bring up this wonderful new feature in Windows 10, just press and hold down the Windows key on your keyboard and press either the period or the semicolon key, and that'll bring up the Windows 10 emoji picker. You can simply select the emoji that you would like and it will insert it at the point of your cursor. Keep in mind though, that this feature was released in version 1809, so Windows 10 must be at least 1809 or newer. Tip number two is slide to shutdown. This is an especially handy tip if you have a touchscreen device. Anywhere on your desktop, simply right click, create a new shortcut, and in the shortcut dialog box, simply type in the following command. I'll include this in the text below, so please be sure to check that afterwards. Click on next, name it what you would like. I usually just call it slide to shut down. Click on finish, and there you have your new shortcut. I also changed the icon because just on its own, it's not very friendly. You need to run it as administrator first, and then click on change icon. It defaults to the Windows icon file, and I generally select this big red button because it's hard to miss that. Click on apply. And there you go. Next time you want to shut down your computer, you double click on this. It brings up the slide to shutdown box. As soon as you hit the bottom, your computer will turn off. Tip number three is the enhanced Windows 10 clipboard history. We all know the traditional highlight some text that you would like to copy. Press Control and C, and that copies the text. Then you go where you want to insert it. Press Control V, and that will insert the text. Windows 10 added the clipboard history. To bring that up, just Click on your Windows key, go into settings, and in your search box, you can simply just start typing clipboard. Go into clipboard settings, and here it is, clipboard history. Make sure this feature is turned on. And as you can see here, to access it, you just press the Windows logo key plus the V. A couple of other options on the screen to keep in mind. If you're signed in with a Microsoft account, this will be available to any other device that you're signed in with that same account. If you'd like to clear all your clipboard history, simply click on clear right here. The way it works is where your document you would like to insert the text, just press and hold the Windows key, press V, and there's your clipboard history. You can also copy images into the clipboard history as well. You would simply select the one that you want to insert, and there you go. The other thing, on the same screen where you insert the history, this ellipse is at the top here, you can either select to delete that particular one, you can clear them all, or this option, pin, allows you to keep that particular item on your clipboard. Because when you reboot your computer, the clipboard is cleared by default. And when you clear all, obviously they're all cleared as well. Tip number four is a couple of shortcuts to selecting text. With your mouse, if you click once, it positions your cursor. A double click will highlight the current word that you're on. And if you triple click, it'll highlight the current paragraph. If you use your keyboard, press shift right arrow to select one character at a time, shift left arrow to reduce it by one. And if you press the shift and the control key together and go right, you'll select one word at a time. Left is deselecting it at a time. There's also the option with pressing shift wherever you position your cursor, press shift and hold the down arrow, will go down exactly one line, and back the same way with the up arrow. Tip number five is Focus Assist. Focus Assist helps you keep your attention on what you're doing. Windows 10 does alert you with new emails, with warnings, alerts, so on and so forth. To access it, you right click on your action center in the bottom right corner, and there's your focus assist. You can turn it off completely, or to have it set so that you only get alerted on priorities or for alarms. The other way to access focus assist is you click on start, go into settings, and in the search dialog box, start typing focus. 
Click on Focus Assist and here are the same options for Off, Priority Only, Alarms Only. You can also set it for an automatic rule that it won't disturb you during a specific time period if you turn this on. A couple of other options on the screen that you can go through as well. Tip number six is how to bring back a closed tab in a web browser. How many times has this happened to you? You're busy working away and you accidentally close the tab that you were working on. Well, don't fear. Every browser has the exact same option. You right click at the top here and you undo the closed tab. It'll bring back the last tab that you closed. There's also the option if you close it off, you can use a keyboard shortcut, which is Control, Shift, and T. If you press Control, Shift, T again, if you close two tabs, it'll bring back both tabs in order. This works for whether you're in Firefox, Google Chrome, right click at the top, reopen close tab, and in Microsoft Edge, they have the exact same option as well. Right click at the top, reopen close tab, and there you go. So next time you accidentally close a tab, don't panic. Tip number seven is snip and sketch. There are two ways to use snip and sketch. One is with just a copy to the clipboard where you'd press your Windows key, Shift key, and the S key that brings up this option at the very top of your screen where you have four different ways to snip. You can do a rectangular snip, a freeform snip, a window snip, which is your currently highlighted application on the screen, or a full screen snip. Let's just do a quick freeform snip right here. So oh, we highlight the area we want to copy, and that is now added to our clipboard. The other option you have is to use the actual app where you click on start, start typing in snip, there we go. And you have the same option here where you click on new. You can go snip now or in three seconds or in 10 seconds. That's a delay in case you'd like to line up your screen properly. So if we click on snip now, it brings us back to the previous option at the top here where we have the window, the rectangular snip. So this time we'll choose a rectangular one and we'll select that area. The difference is here is that it puts it straight into the snip and sketch application. Up top, you have a number of different options that are really handy. You have touch writing, you have a ballpoint pen, pencil, highlighter, which I use a lot. So with this, you just need to highlight the area you would like to bring attention to. You have an eraser in case you highlighted the wrong thing or you want to delete what you just did. Just go back over it and that goes away. You have a ruler and another handy feature is the cropping tool. So this you can resize your snip to exactly what you would like it to be. Just apply it, and that is now added to your clipboard. Now, if you remember in tip number four, sorry, tip number three, we did a clipboard history. In your document, if you go Windows V for the enhanced clipboard, here are the items that we just copied to the clipboard. So as you can see, this ties in very handily with the previous tip where images can be copied into the clipboard. Hopefully that helps make your life just a little bit easier. Tip number eight is the command prompt. Now, if you're like me, I often use the command prompt for a number of different actions, such as automating scripts, running different commands. But sometimes when you're in a particular document and you wanna bring up a command prompt, you have to click on start or right click on start is a better way bring up a command prompt, then you have to type cd backslash users and then manually type in the path or copy and paste the path that you would like to go to. A new option is in the address bar at the very top here. Simply replace that with cmd, press enter, and now you are automatically at the path where your folder was open in. It makes running commands in that particular folder significantly easier. Tip number nine is God mode. Now, as a disclaimer, I do have an objection to the fact that Microsoft named it this, but it is a personal opinion only. To access this, simply right click anywhere on your desktop, select new, new folder, and in the folder, paste in the following command. I'll include this in the text below, so please do check that out. Press enter, it changes the icon to almost looks like the control panel. When you open this, 
you have a number of options in here, 213 of them that are different administrative tools, different options, how to change settings, how to undo things, undo things, restore files. The list is extensive. So it's really handy if you administer a system and you need to get into some of the hidden options all in one location. Tip number 10, disk cleanup. This is a feature which way too many people ignore. Disk cleanup should be run on your computer, I would say at least once a month. To access it, click on your start and begin typing disk, and then it will bring up the disk cleanup application. Select OK for drive C. On the next screen, I always recommend to click on clean up system files. Again, drive C, and it should bring up a window prompting you to select the options that you want to delete. You're pretty safe to select everything in the list. If you had a previous Windows installation that you haven't cleaned up yet, that will show up at the bottom of the list here. You can simply select everything off, including the old Windows installation files. Click on OK. It will prompt you once. Are you sure you want to delete these files? You click on Delete Files, and away it goes. If you had a previous Windows installation there, You'll get an additional prompt saying you will not be able to roll back. Do pay attention because if you do, are planning to roll back at any point, you will not be able to once you run this. Now, the worst I've seen on a system so far is when I ran disk cleanup, it deleted 126 gigs of data from previous installations. And that system was working significantly better once this was run. So keep that in mind if you need to reclaim space or you've just got too many temporary files accumulating in your hard drive from years of web browsing and running applications. This certainly helps. Please take a couple of moments just to subscribe to my channel below. And also, in the comments below, leave me some information in terms of what you think are your favorite Windows tips.